this is the moment you've all been waiting for. After the last show, yes. we built up, we talked about, hey, here's this thing, and what if we put this thing into this other thing we love? Will it make it even better? <laughs> I thought that you would like that. <laughs> We built it up. We decided <laughs> wow. to ram it home. <laughs> oh, oh my. We're going all the way with this one. We're forcing uh, it in. We're gonna see, we're gonna see if it sticks. We're gonna We're gonna need a we're gonna need to rest in just a few minutes. <laughs> That's though. right. Three times <laughs> and we're spent. Oh my god, I must be tired. <laughs> and I'm spent. No, uh, we are not spent. <laughs> we, we are alive and we are ready to have some Yes. A mixed drink that you are going to introduce. I'm going to let you have the whole floor for this one. Okay, wow. So we've got a, a mixed drink, a new take on a mixed drink. Yes. For this Give It A Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And the mixed drink that we are about today is the Pim's Infused? Pim's? The Pim's? Say it. Manhattan. There you go. I Let's like just go with Manhattan. that. I thought you Pim's were on, infused I thought you Manhattan. were 100% on the right track. Well, was, okay. I was like, he's got it. And I was like, why is he stopping? The Pim's why infused is, Manhattan. The there train is not pulling okay. into the station. <laughs> <laughs> it's not finishing. That's pretty close. He pulled so out have, right at the oh, last second. Oh, whoa. Hey, hey I was now. continuing yeah. with the theme. Uh, I was just building the suspense. <laughs> I was heightening were, it. You were. Uh, <laughs> I was going all sting there. I was, uh, <laughs> yeah, you were going tantric. Tantric. All crazy. <laughs> it's the tantric Manhattan. <laughs> the tantric Manhattan. What? Where have we gone with this? I don't know. You let's can't just, use any of this. Let's cut. No, we're gonna use all of it. This oh is my excellent. gosh! Cut okay. it off right it's here. It's body. It is body. This is, well, it's well, all that super seducer talk we're having. Yeah, yeah. Man. Uh, okay. That's that's super funny. So what we have done here is yeah. we have taken uh, a man the, a Manhattan recipe, our um, our classic Manhattan recipe that we'd gotten f- a, several years back from uh, a former contributor to the show. Uh, we took his recipe and we just plucked out the sweet vermouth and we have added the pims. Yeah, it was a, an article that I had seen within the last couple of weeks uh, randomly that it was <coughs> the title of the article was literally things to do with pims besides making a pims cup and i was like oh i have that and nice and their third one down was was a manhattan and i manhattan you say i'm gonna be honest with you i didn't even read what their recipe was because i already (laughs) knew what i would do and i was like oh we need to take out the sweet vermouth because that's the sweet component throw this in here and uh just see what happens so i was yeah that was actually the impetus for all of this like tasting it the previous show trying this i am so excited to try this drink and as we were mixing it i think we were both like oh this really seems to be like it should be good there's a lot of there's a lot of build up for this yeah i hope it i hope it carries through i'm just not i'm a little worried well i think it's gonna be good it's kind of like it's bullet good yes the bourbon we're using is bullet uh, and we we are not using maraschino cherries. We are using actually these uh, Italian amar- uh, amarena, amarena, amarena cherries, um, which are delicious by themselves, but are, are great on desserts and especially in mixed beverages. So we're using that. Um, so yeah, we're and I all, not all a, the components should yeah. be good. And I am not a cherry person, and those are actually pretty good. I, I liked them. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not, like I said, those sweet, like sometimes it's like, ah, it's a little mm. sweet or a little medicinal. Yeah. These are actually pretty tasty. There's like a grapey kind of quality going into the syrup that's around them or yeah. something. I don't know. It's, that was, that was pretty good. So we put a little bit of that as well in there. Right. Um, now we don't actually need to grab the glass cause we already have our glasses already made up here, but always watching over these things is our good friend. Our good friend, Phil. <laughs> He's always watching. What is this going to look like? He's got an eyeful. Oh, okay. wow. Look at that. Yeah, he's, he's got a couple bottles <laughs> he's got a watching, so there. it's tough. So the yes. main focus is the PIM, so we made sure that he was looking at that the most closely. But then right here is the bullet. The and bullet. you can see that that bottle is taller than this bottle because this is a huge bottle of bullet. Because <laughs> so. bullet is delicious, especially at that price point, which is uh, if you buy it in that bottle at Costco, it's like 33 bucks for it's like the equivalent of like two and a quarter bottles. Yeah, that's, that's it's, it's a great deal. And it's a really good bourbon, not even just in mixed drinks, because you don't feel guilty because of the price. But I, I have it neat. Oh yeah. So I think it's neat. It is. <laughs> What's also neat is the beverage that we've got here. So we've already described everything to you. We have a, a cherry hanging out down there at the bottom. You could garnish this with other things. I see a lot of people do like orange peel and yeah. different stuff like that. Um, we didn't go that fancy. Probably just, pour this one on the rocks if you want. Normally Manhattans are not. Yeah, uh, I've some, ordered them before, and sometimes they'll ask you one way or the other. Yeah. So that's definitely an option. You can put it in a fancier glass. Uh, you could go like martini-looking glass or something like that if you're, you know, a little high society. 
But uh, but we went two and a half ounces of bourbon, one ounce of uh, the Pims, a splash of uh, some Regan's um, orange bitters. Orange bitters number six, correct. And then uh, the amaranth, a little amaranth or amaranth cherry juice, and then um, cherry itself. Very little, probably like a teaspoon. It's pretty thick two stuff. So yeah, we didn't put that much in there. Exactly. So pretty much retains the color of the Pims. Yeah, it's uh, probably a little bit lighter. Like I think the bourbon lightened it a yeah, little bit. Yeah, a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, it's it's kind of iced tea. But then the amarena juice it color darkened it back. Maybe up. it did just a little bit. What about like an amarena sunrise? It's another. Oh, sorry. Instead mm-hmm. of using a what is it usually in that? It's a why can't I think of it? Pomegranate. No. Yeah, it's uh, uh, grenadine. Grenadine. Which thank it comes you. from which is pomegranate. Yeah, right. pomegranate. Yeah. Well, it smells delicious. They're all the all all those uh, notes are there. All of the aroma, yeah, the I bourbon. Get, yeah, that's the foremost thing, obviously, because right. it's over two parts. You know, like I said, of, of the beverage. And then you got the pims. But I do get the, like I said, those other. Little Cher- yeah, no, they're which all is in a lot there. nicer too, because like I said, the the sweet vermouth. It's kind of like I have to put it in there because that's what the drink is. Right. And it's so low in there, it just adds like a little fruit to it. Right. Um, a little sweetness to it, I should say. But this, I think, is going to add something else. So. The pims might be, yeah. Well, we, we got to try it. We first. might have needed more pims. We're going to find that out too. It's actually a little too fre- refreshing. <laughs> it is a little too refreshing, isn't it? As I took that big, big sip, and then I like, I was like, I could have drank more of that sip. I could have taken more of that. The lowest proof in here is twenty five, I think. Right? Isn't yeah. The, the Pims is like around twenty five. Right. <clears throat> well, the amarena cherry is, juice is zero. Yeah. But yes, yeah. Uh, that's that's quite good. That's quite good. I think I would want a little more of the Pims to come out. Like it's it's pretty delicate in there. Like yeah. it's definitely which this drink is, and it's supposed to be. It's the star of the show is the, the bourbon, right? Um, and that's why when you order this at different places, a lot of them will make their own version of it, and they'll even like call it like this is a Buffalo Trace Manhattan. You know, they'll be specific about the bourbon because it is very much the star of the show. But I think there could be a little bit more of. I think a, a supporting act. I think the pims could come through a little more. Like maybe I would yeah. have done. I either would have like because we did like two and a half, so maybe do two parts bullet two. right to directly one, or even one and a half, one and a quarter maybe. Yeah, I could at see least you could you could pull the the. I wouldn't actually. I actually wouldn't mind a little bit more of the cherry juice. In there I could too. go for a little bit. I, are you wanting of a little more sweet? I'm wanting of a little more sweet. <laughs> That's a callback, right? <laughs> that there. is a callback. Oh, uh, speaking of that, uh, a certain person wanted to know when the wives get to make their selections. For our Oh yeah, we still gotta, we gotta talk about. We that. gotta figure that out too. Yeah, that is. But so the way it is right there, it's actually quite refreshing. I, I it's weird. To, I don't usually say that about a Manhattan. Yeah, but it's refreshing. I think they're delicious. I love Manhattans, but I don't usually refer to this. It's refreshing. Yeah, but that that actually is. It's very smooth. You get all the great woody character that you want out of a bourbon, but like yeah. I said, because it's chilled and you have like those other things kind of balancing out some of the heat that sometimes you can get from a you know a spirit. Yeah, it definitely. Yeah, I think that goes in the refreshing category. You could drop a couple of cubes of ice in there too, mm-hmm. like as you can see in the picture. People do do that. Um, you could even take that and add lemonade. N- I wouldn't add oh. lemonade, but I thought I nah, Sprite. I was, nah, Sprite seltzer. Nah, I, was gonna, I, I was gonna say something like that if you wanted to. Mm. If you wanted to go more toward the refreshing, yeah. If you wanted it to be like something that that would be interesting. <clears throat> if you add, if you took that and added, yeah, you know, like a like a lemon lime. Kind of thing, like almost like you went like a Manhattan sour. Yeah, yeah, something like that. But that, uh, I think, I think that Pims is well. We've only tried it in one thing. Yeah, but it sounded like the it way we're really tasting. Good in those other ones. Yeah, I think it. I think it's a, a very versatile I beverage a, to have on hand. I get more of the Pims as silly as it sounds. Like as I'm sitting here, like like it's not in the full sip. It's like more as like we're talking and like also like kind of like after flavors, the aftertaste. Like the, I get a little bit more of. Of that sweet kind of coming through. I wonder even if you used, what if you used a different bourbon? Like what about, this might be a good pl- place for the bookers. That'd be an ex- Cause it's, that'd cause be it's expensive hot. Manhattan. Well, I'm just saying because it's hotter. That'd be a pricey bastard. <laughs> yes, but a Manhattan is, is a classic drink I'm not worthy of good bourbons. I'm not disagreeing with you. But that'd be, that'd be a pricey Manhattan. But it probably would be like, yeah, I think some of that the heat might 
be balanced a little right. bit more. Um, anyway, I, I definitely, like I wouldn't put a Basil Hayden's in this. I, def- I mean, well, but you just went a dollar value above it, though. No, I'm just, but I'm just saying I, I wouldn't. That oh, I wouldn't do that because I think it would get lost with all the others. I think the wonderful nuance that's in a Basil Hayden yes. would get lost. I would agree. Right. Yeah. yeah, I would definitely agree with that. Yeah. So some of those other, like a Booker's or a Baker's or something like that, where you're getting like you've got the greater complexity of flavors, but maybe they're harder to find because of the the fireside <laughs> the fireside chat that goes on at the yeah. at the beginning of the of that. Yeah, the like heat. It, you mean? Yeah, yeah, just that heat. Yeah, that just kind of comes through. You definitely lose all of that. I mean, because that's what makes this the refreshing part is because you're getting all the great bourbon flavors slightly muted right um and then like you don't get any of that at the end where it's like you could easily have a drink oh it's good and just go to the next you know (laughs) that's that's i have to drive so that's why i'm like (laughs) careful (laughs) careful (laughs) careful uh but yeah i think uh like i said this is like you just said it's only one thing but i see many different possibilities for the pims and i would definitely if you were going to try and make this recipe at home uh, I would I would change the ratio up a little bit. I would do I would definitely try two to one, right? Like straight start there and see if you want to increase it a little more because yeah. I think I'd like a little bit more of that to come out. Like I said, I, again, I don't want it to be like the major player, but I'd right. like a little bit more. Of that, yeah, it but, could be a, it could. Uh, but I like it way more, more than sweet vermouth. <clears throat> like I would get this any day over sweet vermouth. Like this is just ew. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like Groundhog Day, sweet vermouth on the rocks with a twist. Oh, oh. That's some people fa- do that. That's though. my favorite drink. Mine too. <laughs> Have you ever seen? And then he people goes, do that. And then he takes a drink. He's like, <laughs> he's so grossed out by it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, hopefully you will want to uh, try one of these mixed drinks uh, if uh, you're interested in other different things that we have done, either with bourbon or uh, tequila or any other thing in the past. If you go to aboutbeverages.com, that is where you can find those things because they are probably podcasts. A lot of those ones where we did like long form types of things, they were way back in the day before they even had video. <laughs> right. At least before we, the internet at least had we video. Didn't. Yeah. At least we didn't. <laughs> uh, but if you're looking for newer stuff in the last three, four years that is still good, you can uh, head on over to YouTube. It's a burgeoning new website. Brand new. They're going to be great. Yeah, I'm, it's going to be great. So glad we invested. We uh, got an invite. Uh, there was only uh, 100 people that were initially asked to do this. It was us. It was we Ninja. were one of them. Yeah. Uh, it was a couple other like, yeah. uh, small Twitch streamers. They were asked. We t- accepted. Uh, so we are on there at obviously youtube.com slash about beverages. Yes. Anything you want to add to that? <laughs> Where can uh, they find us live? That's always the most well, important of thing course, we always Twitch. need to promote. Twitch.tv backslash about beverages. Um, you're pretty much on there every night. I am on there almost every night. Doing the game thing. Yeah. We're usually here Thursdays, sometimes Wednesdays. Maybe in a couple of weeks it'll be on a Saturday. Uh, but we'll always let you know when we're going to be uh, streaming live. And you can watch us record these podcasts. And uh, and then after the podcast recording is done, we hang around for a little bit. And, and we chat about beverages with, with you. With all of you. And Absolutely. if for some reason something changes, they can always be following us on Twitter. Twitter. Because that is where we will announce like, hey, we're not going to be able to stream tonight or this is going on. Or eventually, here's what we're going to be having this week. Buy it and chat along with us about it. But uh, yeah, I think that is the grocery list of uh, I think you've covered digital it. media that we are all a part of. <laughs> but whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs>